Hello everybody, welcome to... <laughs> this is unbelievable. We were just talking about a blitz. The round of 16 match between Nuru and his Skaven and Diomed and his Necromantic. He all mends the LOS so that nobody could touch his werewolf because he's got tackle and diving tackle. Um, so we were talking about whether he should tag him or not. He hasn't tagged him, but he has put this little uh, formation here to limit his movement on a blitz. So he's got that going for him. Unbelievable. And in the booth with me is Calcium Kaz. Hello. Hello. And I'm going to finish eating my dinner for a couple of minutes. So there you go. Take it away, Kaz. Well, you talked that blitz in, Jim, didn't you? Talk about commentator's curse. If I was if I was Diomed right now, I'd be like, shut up, Jim. Shut up. Honestly, that was horrendous. You bought du parfum, Jim? No, no, c'est une fragrance. Rien à voir avec du parfum, Bob. Tu aimes? Ça s'appelle Charogne numéro 5. So I guess the choice um, Nuru has here is, does he smash one of these gutter runners? Surely, surely hit one of the gutter runners early doors off this blitz, you know, and I'm, I'm specific, I, it would be nice if he could maybe hit the Agi 5, but I'm looking at this other one with um, Dauntless, Strip Ball. Nice bit of claw palm action on him. Diomed is the necro player, yeah. <laughs> sorry, Diomed, sorry. Nuru is the one turn ratter. Yeah. And he's got his he's got his rat on the field. Interesting. Interesting. He's got he's fielding the one turner. This is the way for him to win the game. Obviously you don't want your ball carrier hit, but uh Diomed's gonna be very happy that he can chase after that. Uh, right, but, uh, he's, yeah, he's blitzing he's blitzing one of these line rats to get the diamond yeah. tackle tackle on the ball. Yeah. Makes sense. There's there's only one tackler for uh, for Nuru. yeah. That's fine until the ball until the ball scatters away from the werewolf. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. He could GFI and uh, dodge to get in front of it. Then it'll definitely be somewhere. It's a worthy gamble, though, isn't it? If it yeah, if it does scatter goals. adjacent, yeah. If, if it does scatter adjacent to that werewolf, yeah. then straight away Nuru's in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty good blitz. Would you have considered blitzing the gutter runner, um, either the AG5 or the Dauntless strip ball? I would have certainly wanted to. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't easy to know what to do, was it? Because you could have you could have yeah. just tagged these two, and then you could have claw pumped either either of these, or obviously you could have just claw pumped him easily as well. We went for the kind of more positional hit, didn't he? Yeah. Well, yep. Oh, it doesn't have a sidestep. Yeah, it's a tackle. Okay, yeah, so it's actually no problem at all. He just he can just blitz it with anybody and push it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well. At least he tried. Yeah, and this is why I, I wouldn't have been against trying to target the gutter runners. Because the only way that... Um, Diomed's going to win this really is by dealing with those gutter runners, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and especially especially the one turn. Like he has to, he has to get a hit on him, doesn't he? Yeah. So like having him fielding one offense isn't that dangerous because obviously you don't want your ball carrier getting hit. But wolves are really fucking good at hitting gutters, aren't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably the best player in the game at hitting gutter runners because their frenzy is not a bad thing against them. And they were, like the claw doesn't matter, but the fact that they have movement eight and have easy access to dodge and that they can hunt them down very effectively. Hello, yak. So that screwed his plan, which was to block with this lineman and then blitz the fleshy for the push, wasn't it? And then push down this side. I'm pretty sure. So it was still a, it was still a nice blitz overall for. Diomed. Yeah, Nuru's had to change his whole strategy here, isn't it? And the the, the blitz um, really negated uh, Diomed's really crap setup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so he's got to go for these dodges, hasn't he? This is looking really horrible because he's just inviting him in. 
Wow, he does the one. If you're going to do that one, I think you do the two before you dodge out your guard, don't you? Yeah. Do I not like that? Just go here and screen, surely. Surely you've got to try. Doesn't pump the reroll in. You can hear Artemis cursing right now. He's really not a fan of the last action dodge, is he? <laughs> is he not? <laughs> no, he's not a fan at all. <laughs> um, oh, I quite like that because this is it just didn't again inviting him in on yet, and you, you can claw pom a gutter, can't he? Like I think you've just got to claw pom gutters every chance you get. Yeah. Ultimatively. Who was that? So just just scanning this. Um, the only real gutter runner, um, who I say, you know, the only one, it's the guard gutter. Um, it seems a pretty worthy target. Yeah, yeah, and can three dice him easily. Three dice him. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's crazy. Three into three. And you're getting these guys here, which is a good spot for them to be in as well. Anyway. Yeah, three into three. Um, the flesh golem can free up the zombie dirty player. Uh, he's moved in to assist. Oh, is he? Is he moved him in? Yeah, because he one deed him, didn't he? Ah, uh, yeah. So he did. Yeah. Okay, get that then. But he can, he can just punch, can he? He gets he gets a free punch, and that's pretty nice. Mighty blow hit on glass. Yeah. It wasn't worth taking the one deed if you if you ask me. He has got tackle. And he's gone. No pylon needed. Lovely. Put a guard in here. God, this is looking really ropey, isn't it? <laughs> it's looking bad already, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Ms. DM and Dem, yeah. Art was the guy that played Blood Bowl until he got parted. And then as soon as he got parted, he's like, yes, I don't have to play this shitty game anymore. Choose! He's like, he's like F you, Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, wow. Here we go. He, does, he doesn't get the removal, but he does get the stun. And yeah, that's, that's the problem, isn't it? That was the problem with the, the Blitz. You know, like he, would, he was going to Blitz with him. And definitely move that fleshy, but instead he's just he's just he is in absolutely in dire straits, yeah. This is looking horrible. Just the speed of Necro as well, isn't it? They can respond. I think um Doctor the Dog said earlier that Necro are a really good counter to Anchi teams. And they really are, aren't they? The speed of those werewolves and ghouls and even whites at movement six you know um yeah what's not to like about them <laughs> <laughs> yes they get the foul as well don't they? that's the thing they get to really push the attrition with the fouls um like the problem is obviously most of their players are shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's the yeah. problem yeah. that they have uh that like s zombies are really really terrible but they do get to foul people and, and cast them out which is wonderful isn't it yeah, they serve a purpose, things. don't they? And you know, as 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 DP carrying line fodder, they're they're pretty amazing, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, but he's partnered forever now, the Modred. The thing is, once you partnered, like you partnered until you uh, do something really fucked up to lose it. So the point is, he, he you know he wanted to be partnered, so now he's partnered. Now he doesn't have to think about doing it anymore. Whereas you know, you've got to average over like 75 viewers or whatever. So he couldn't stream COD if he wanted to get partnered. So now that he's got it, he, you know, he's he's free from thinking about, you know, I can see the point. So basically what he's done is he shafted the Blood Bowl community and then phoned all of us a cab. <laughs> and he yeah. his knob in the curtain and phoned <laughs> us all a cab. That's what he's done. <laughs> <laughs> And he's just freed himself up, isn't he? That's the thing. Like, if he if he had stopped trying to get partnered and done and done, um, 
card because he wanted to do a card. He could have been playing card for six months already or whatever, but then in six months' time, he might want to play Blood Bowl again and have some viewers again. <laughs> he'll, he'll, be, he'll be all over Blood Bowl 3, won't he? Yeah. He'll be all over that. Um, so, and fair play to him. You know, I, I like her. I don't agree with everything he says. Um, I think he goes a little bit too hard sometimes on people that he perceives as shitters, but, you know, that's that's fine, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So like, so you could, so like the 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 thing is now he'd like if he was to, like if he was to get like you know if he was so then if he was to stream like let's say he streamed COD for like six months, and then came back to Blood Bowl, he'd have to like stream a lot of Blood Bowl to get partnered, wouldn't he? Whereas now he can just go back and be part like he's already partnered. So he's like I can see why he did it, um, you know, because he was close to getting partnered. So he just thought he'd see it out and then take his break rather than take he put the break. work in didn't he he, exactly. he streamed all the time didn't he yeah you know he streamed literally every game of chalice um and I, I know that you're sort of trying to emulate that to an extent but he was next level all the time wasn't he and I, you know so yeah you know no one can deny that he put the work in and he's a charismatic guy yeah. so. <laughs> Pedro, <laughs> when calcium cause you over being too harsh on people, you know it's time to pause and reflect. <laughs> well, I've done I've done a fair bit of pausing and reflecting myself, you know, and um, yeah, do you know what, you know, you know, let's call a shitter a shitter, but banging on about it, the same thing all the time, yeah, it, it does get a little bit tiring, doesn't it? You know, but it does a bit. And uh, yes, scenario, and yeah, I got partnered like about. About four years ago, you can see there how long I've been partnered for. 51 months. Woo! Glorious. So this is nice, isn't it? Where he got his guys away a bit as much as he could, didn't he? Uh, he's protected. That's the same, yeah, that's almost the same amount of time I've been throwing money into your beer fund, isn't it? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> it is It is pretty similar. Um the thing is in Arian, right, when when I got partnered it was when there wasn't uh there wasn't affiliates. So it was like having it was like having anything, wasn't it? It was like having any uh it was like being affiliate. So it's 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 there's not that many benefits to be honest now. There was a big difference when I got partnered. But now I think it's you get a few more emotes. I don't know if you get like a better percentage of the uh the money from subs or if like you get it more regularly or whatever but I mean I've never been uh, an affiliate like I've never been an affiliate in the, in the current system so it's probably not a lot of difference I would imagine oh there you go then this is just getting worse and worse for the Skaven team, isn't it? Um, the, yeah. the removal in itself isn't catastrophic because it's a rookie Storm Vermin, but it does mean he's just got less people on the pitch right now. Yeah. Uh, it's just going to get trickier and trickier to protect these guys. Yeah, I might have hit the I might have hit the line all right to try and chain the wolf closer so he could have run around and claw on this edge guy. He could yeah. just GFI to hit him anyway. Ah, there you go. Then try. See, so it's where so you probably don't get that when you're a partner. You'll get it every month, whatever happens, and then a few more emotes. So yeah, not not a big deal, but it, it was a big deal when I got it because before it, you got nothing. <laughs> like you know, you just didn't have subs at all. Um, so now that now that you've got affiliates, being a partner is a lot less of a big deal to the point where it's almost no deal. I was surprised he cared about being partner because. It's almost, yeah, it's almost no different. Right? I think, I think, I don't piling know. On, piling on like a true crazy, crazy Russian bastard. <laughs> Jump up there, wasn't it? Initially, I thought, oh, I don't know if I like the pile on there because, you know, uh, movement sacrifice, but it's jump up. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah it's fine. <laughs> Oh yeah, ad revenue. Yeah, affiliates get ad revenue. Yeah, so like, yeah, there's, there's, they're not getting like, yeah, just a personal goal. That's fair enough, dog to the dog. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, it's it's something he it's something was aiming for for a while, wasn't it? You yeah. know, um, partner status. Yeah, this is really hard, isn't it? Like it's hard because this he's so fast and he can jump up as well. <laughs> oh god. Well, he's literally down to. 
a block of free gutter runners because everything else, you know, the the other two linos are based. So it's really tricky, isn't it? You know, you, you're gambling on dodging them out to create a decent cage, etc. Um, fouling Glart. Get rid of Glart. There we go. Happy days. Oh, um, this is all. This is all coming up pretty nice for the necros, isn't it? Um, you, you'd you'd want to be in this spot right now. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is horrible. I guess you've got to try and foul the wolf. Yeah, you have to try to foul the wolf, right? You've got this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you've got to like what? Dodge, blitz, pow the white. I'll do it with a reliant dauntless to power the white and then run down here somewhere. Basically potato. Essentially just potato and then uh I think committing to I, I hey, I hear you when you say foul foul the werewolf, I hear you, right? <laughs> We're on the same page. But that that's committing players to do it, isn't it? I don't I don't think he has the players to do it. At least but tag then, the wolf, though. You've got to tag both wolves, haven't you? Yeah, you've yeah, got to yeah. Dodge, yeah. dodge him out the back and tag him. He's got to dodge and tag him, and then you, like, sideline cage or whatever with the, with the, uh, with the gutters. It's yeah. fucking hideous. Nauru's already reached fuck it status, isn't he? You yeah, know, yeah, he's, he's going to have to do something rowdy. He's going to have to do something rowdy to get over the line here. He has reached proper fucked status. <laughs> That's yeah, what he's yeah, reached. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, punt. Yeah, get all three gutters through and then punt. Yeah, okay, I don't hate that. Oh, oh, failing him. Yeah. But this one now can't get in. Can't get in range. So you can have. You can get. You can have two gutters in range and punt. Just yeah, two, I don't. I don't. Yeah, do you know what? I don't hate the punt here. Hmm. Oh wow! <laughs> no. In dodge, we trust. I mean, this is okay for this turn, but. You know, it just gets worse next turn, doesn't it? This is the problem yeah. with this player. Yeah. He, he's bought himself a turn, but he ha he's not in scoring range, so there's no there's no threat. Yeah, as long as the necros don't brain fart here, they're still in really good shape, aren't they? Just get, just get the down tackle straight back here. Like, obviously, you could get him in. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get him in, but I like that you can just put him back as, as the ultimate safety, then, can't you? Like, and then how does he even score against you if you've got this guy back there? I think I, I would personally, I, like, you know, he, he can obviously do good things up here and stuff, but I would just get him back and then, and then you're laughing, aren't you? You can go up on to your heart's content. Yeah, yeah. And just just keep him sitting back here. Il faut en découdre mano à mano, Bob. Ah pour ça, il faut se rapprocher jusqu'à sentir la lettre de l'adversaire et voir les insectes coller entre ses dents. Mr. Yemendem, not a fan of David Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't pile on, I guess he's got tackle on two players. But yeah, the problem is like if you stick him in, then you then you've given him the slight out of being able to outrun them, haven't you? So I, I do kind of Yeah, I, I don't think yeah. As tempting as it is to put that diving tackle in, I don't think you need to. Mm -hmm. But he has Again, it's one of them I don't hate it. Yeah. Um I I think moving the the fleshy in there as well. The, yeah, this seems a little bit over committee to me, but um, 
<laughs> like it's, still strong. it's fucking brutal. Like it's completely fucking brutal for the for the rats, but at least he's got an out now. At least he can just yeah. go thirteen squares. And uh and be you know, have a chance. Well he's gone from being proper fucked to probably being proper fucked. <laughs> I mean he's more fucked, he's just got more light at the end of the tunnel now, hasn't he? Whereas if yeah, yeah. If, if this guy if this wolf was deep, he's he's got no hope. Whereas now it's it's much harder to get out, but if he gets out at least he's got a sliver of hope. <laughs> yeah, Tristan was probably thinking about something else if the shaven get away here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if if they get away there, like it's not easy to get away, is it? Like it's really hard to get away. But it would have been hard anyway. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe we're being a little bit harsh on uh, <laughs> yeah. on Diamond here, you know. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying he's doing it wrong. I mean, it's just it's no. just six and two threes, isn't it? That this is yeah, yeah. is more pressure, but slightly less safe uh, back. But then you know, like obviously committing a safety reduces the force you're exerting. So how do the Skaven get out of this? Oh, I don't know. Just roll fucking dice. That's good. <laughs> I'm fucking no, man. Roll a crap ton of sixes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking no. <laughs> um. Just roll all the fucking dice in the world. It's fucking horrible, isn't it? Ho hope that hope that Diomed loses connection. One D, so one D Dauntless on the DP zombie. Yeah. You're looking for a pushback. Oh, oh roll a one on the ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> roll a one on the ball. Woo! Holy shit! Yep, don't do that. If you're gonna do that, I think you're fine on all three anyway. Nope, he's uphilling. For a push. You really didn't like the diamond tackle, I think you just fucking commit to making those dodges. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah, absolutely. I would have I would have gambled against the diving tackle there yeah. instead of doing it doing it that way. Yep. Yeah. yeah, me too. Yeah, I did not like the wizard, even if it had worked. Yeah, exactly. Exactly as Tri said, I did not like the decision. I I back Nuru to win this, but only because I was behind and I, I had to do something stupid to try and get back. Because <laughs> so I, I predicted some, some that I didn't believe in to try and win. This was one of them. And, uh, yeah, they oh. lost already. GG. <laughs> yeah, this is... This is pretty much lost isn't it? He's getting yeah. dirty player fouled. He's getting surfed. Both both got us surfed and this guy GFI fouled. Well there you go. Yeah. Right, don't keep us waiting, Diamond. You've won on turn four. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen worse spots. <laughs> chop chop. <laughs> Elk probably thinks this looks quite good for Nuru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rick would be going, flip me, guys. <laughs> yeah. Woo, this is great, guys. This gives us the opportunity to, uh, <laughs> to for his dirty player to get send off. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Rick's house is on fire. Woo! <laughs> oh! Flip me, guys. He gets wrestled. Oh, he doesn't. He's got block. Oh, yeah. He's, wait, he doesn't have wrestle. Oh, he doesn't have wrestle. What the? What kind of sacking gore is this? He's got block, dauntless tackle, strip. What on earth? He might still get surfed. Nightly. I'm just wondering if the double surf is still on. I don't think it is now. I think you've got to secure the ball, haven't you? I think you do. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to. Yeah, you've got to. Uh, yeah, you've got yeah, to. Surf, surf the surf the edgy five. Ooh, no, he's putting the down tackle on the on the one room. Very disciplined. Very disciplined. Yeah, that's actually pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't hate it. This player prefers to battle entouré. 
trying to power him to get the... Uh... This is horrible dice here for Diamond, isn't it? But he does get the serve. Yeah. That was good, wasn't it? Because if you double power him, you're free the, you're free the, the dirty player for the foul. And if you push yeah. him, then you get yeah. your serve. So I like that rather than going for the edge 5. <clears throat> Even though the edge 5 is better. Yeah, certainly less fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Probably optimal. <laughs> yeah, I think that was good play. Diamond can actually get a touchdown on anybody he wants now, can't he? Yeah. So the team's pretty much perfect. Like he hasn't got anyone waiting for a, waiting on a level really. Oh, this zombie, this zombie can go up to like it's nice, isn't it? He's got 17, 17 and sixteen for the whites. Why wouldn't you try? You know, a couple more, a couple more turns, remove these other two gutter runners. Why wouldn't you try? I think this zombie like the, the skill might be a double, right? If it's a double and you get another guard, you're really happy, aren't you? The diamond tackle wolf, he's... Oh, yeah, okay, he's 76. Yeah, he's not miles away, is he? Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, yeah this wolf, yeah, this wolf. Put SPPs on him, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, all right. And no need to worry about a wizard. Yeah, yeah, definitely get it on DT wolf. The wizard was awful, wasn't it? He should have kept the wizard. You know, even if he'd... Even if he'd, he'd lost the drive. Yeah. You know, um, the drive the drive had long gone. Um, so, trying to recover the drive with the wizard... Yeah, terrible. Uh, I'm afraid it wasn't the thing to do. You'd have been much better off keeping that wizard for later on when you had more options. Well, who can say if it was right or wrong? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I think that was the play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Volpes, you you get banned for three seasons if you concede in Chalice. Yeah. He's just been he's just been uh, blitzed and then KO'd out. <laughs> you don't get punished for soft conceding though, do you? No, no. Corpalm. Yeah, the bl the blitz fucked him and like all men's other less like combined with a blitz, like, I don't know, it just got proper fucked. Because he had to set, he set up stupidly because of, like, you know, because of the LOS and, like, the... He kind of set up in a bad spot and then got blitz and it was just, it was horrible. Like, it might have been horrible anyway, but it was particularly horrible. With the yeah, Dio's, Dio's setup was trash, right? It was just pure trash. And then the blitz, unfortunately, started off really bad for Nauru, and it's got significantly worse. <laughs> yeah, it's been horrible. Since then, Dio's been pretty positionally solid, isn't he? He's, he's yeah. not he's not making any mistakes here. I know it's it's easy to not make mistakes when the game's swinging so heavily in your favour, but yeah, he's. Yeah, very he's, not, good. He, he's not the type of coach to let this go now, is he? He's, he's not going to brain fart here. And uh... no, no, that's you're totally wrong. Some guy one one three because uh, some guy um, conceded in the final and uh, got banned for three seasons. So, so there you go. <laughs> so that is not the uh, that is not. What the CCL admins think. The CCL admins just think it's bad for the competition or some bollocks. Wow. Well, he he just stays down and he's going to get fouled with Dirty Player. At least twice. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty horrible. Problem is, where'd you run him away to? You got that claw bomb werewolf loitering around in you. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You can't run away. That's why he just skipped the turn because he's like, yeah. oh, "What can I do?" I yeah, it's dropping hard. I'll just get claw bombed and then fouled. So fuck it. Might yeah. as well. You might as well just gang foul me, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's basically it, Petrol. Yeah. That is the decree of the admins. 
joueur débarqué dans leur but adverse. Soit il attend le ballon, soit il taille le bout de la I'm afraid I don't agree, Pedro. I think the worst thing you can possibly do in Blood Bowl is whistle blow an industrial cheating ring. <laughs> that's true, yeah, that's been proven. <laughs> yeah, you get permaban for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's as toxic as you can possibly be in Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, though. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> We're going to need something to talk about because this game's over. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's going to do the handoff. Love to see it. Get that guy up to 76 who's so got side step. Yep. And this massive gang foul. Fucking kill him. I've paid no attention to this Necro team. Uh, for, you know, I've been following the Chalice games. Um, this Necro team's a threat, isn't it? Yeah, really good, you know. <clears throat> yeah, really good Necro team. It's a bit injured. Like, there's some match twos and stuff, but it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh! Well, he's got, he's got the apple, he's got the apple. Yeah, he's got to apple this. Yep. Yeah. And it would have appled it, whatever happened, he was going to apple it. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether it's... <laughs> it had to apple it. Without wanting to pull a classic gym like you did at the start of this game when you said about the Blitz, we do have Sweltering Heat. Yeah. And this is just saving him rolls, right? These these four KOs come back in a 2+, plus the same way as all of uh, all of the players for the Necro. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's not over, but obviously turning over and scoring on Nuru's Drive is pretty great for Diomed, isn't it? Yeah. And Wizard Burn. Yeah, yeah. it... Uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. You could set your own parameters by turn seven. It look pretty similar to this. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it would. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. Indeed, humorous chimp. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a French team. That's what big is. Oh, oh, there's another cars. <coughs> this is other apple gun, probably. Yep. <laughs> Would have both failed on perms, by the way. He rolled a six and a five, so <laughs> his apple rolled shit, but at least he used them on two badly hurts. Yeah. Only a half a gym foul, man. Oh, man he made two fouls and got two casts. <laughs> That's substantially better than a gym foul, but uh, he did get the red card. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, burning 200k of Apos for a zombie seems like a pretty good return. <laughs> Just doesn't it? Yeah. Wolf, claw pom wolf is out. Well, tackle pom in this case. And nothing out for the rats. <laughs> so. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. We can't piss on sweater in heat, <laughs> can we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Mordred, yeah. That was terrible using the wizard, yeah. Yeah. I agree. The, the, the wizard. Using the wizard on offense has to be like a really massive swing to use it, doesn't it? And, and it just wasn't that big. Like, even if it worked, it, it wasn't worth giving up. The whiz on. He, was in, yeah, he was in the worst spot still, wasn't he? There was yeah. no, there was no positivity. There, there was no positive outcome to him using the wizard in that situation. The drive was done. You were going to get scored on, you know. Um, but the wizard here would look pretty good, wouldn't it? So he, you know, um, he would have had the option to one turn or even two turn here. Um, then wizard in hand, mm. you know, if you know with the Agi five. The, the Apos have done their job, so taking the taking the extra Apo actually has paid off for him. Yeah, and the babes. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that I I think the use of the wizard is probably gonna come back to haunt him. Yeah. yeah the one turn not a factor now, of course, because if it's two 0 at turn sixteen, it doesn't matter if you go one turn. So he, he has to get the turnover. He does. Yeah. Yeah. And do it without a wizard. I mean, to be fair, the wizard rolled a one anyway, right? So it would have failed. But it's 
Yeah, he had to. He had to save it. He had to. Le rythme un peu ralenti, mais that, was the dice roll for the wizard set from the beginning? Is it, you know, because I know, I know dice are pre-generated, aren't they? Does anyone know if the wizard dice roll is pre-generated or if it's just part of that dice log? I think it's just like a big string of numbers. Not that yeah. it matters, but, you know, like, I, I didn't really mean yeah, it yeah. mattered that he rolled a one, but, yeah. I think, I think it, like, how it works is it makes a big string of numbers at the start of the game. And, yeah. And then that's kind of locked in, but, I mean... Not that it matters, because the only thing that matters is the percentages and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Um, I think it was. I think it lost the storm vermin fat in probably, because I mean you d you don't get to this level, a uh, gutter runner with having rookie. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you don't get to this level, gutter runner with rookie storm vermin. So he had to have storm vermin die. Um, but yeah, it's not. It's not. A, it's not a good team, is it? I hate this, though. I hate this fucking block first sacker. What the fuck is up with that? Yeah, if you're gonna, if you've got a long-term goal of building a gutter runner like that, you do not give him block first skill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck? That, like, that's genuinely terrible. Genuinely fucking terrible. And the high elves ended 15-2-1 today. It's pretty good, isn't it? Spoilers, YouTube people. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Pretty good. Amazing. Pro high elf player confirmed. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should be playing high elves all this time. Instead of tickling people with chaos. <laughs> It's funny people won't believe that I was Jimmy Fantastic on Fumble, would they? You know, with the, the highest Black Box Bash rating by miles, miles ahead of everyone else. Bash legend himself. Yeah. And then now, like, <laughs> my teams can't fight their way out of a fucking wet paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I used to be the most dangerous man in Blood Bowl. <laughs> now it's calcium. Wow, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves here or anything, you know, but... <laughs> hey, there's, there's no doubt about it, mate. 184 no, you, you were, you were, Yeah, you, you, were the, you were the Don. Um, yeah. in, your, in, in your fumble height, um, you, were, you were the alpha bastard in, blood, <laughs> in Black Box. You really were. Um, so... Yeah, it's crazy. Like, it was so hard to get 180, yeah. Uh... Like it was like a you know like an elo rating it was you had one for uh, for your coach rating you had one for your bash rating, and Studman was just insane. He would pile on every single hit. He would foul, hard, you know, t till he had no players left. He was insane the way he played, and he didn't make one eighty uh, bash rating, and I got a one eighty four. So it's just unbelievable, really. And then now I just my chaos teams can't out bash fucking Skaven <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> or anything. Pro elves just beat up my chaos. I don't understand yeah, yeah. what's happened. <laughs> oh, why'd you blitz from there? Now you can't move further. No, I guess because you got the push direction. But, yeah. Don't like it. He's going to flood through the way, isn't he? He's going to flood through the back. back yeah, field. he is. Yeah. Yeah. With the gutters. It's all he's got, isn't it? It's all he's got. Yeah. Uh, the fact that the claw palm tackle werewolf is taking a nap this drive is great for him, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's a hell of a player to be out, isn't it? So it's not hopeless here, but hey, a wizard would be mighty fine right now, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't it just? Yeah. Yeah. String four bludger. How are you going to get the ball off him? Oh, just yeah. Kill him and kill him because he's a ghoul. Nope. Nope. Yeah. You can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, the Rebel team was good, to be fair, yeah. DJ Holby, but got wrecked by... Got wrecked by Sage's completely normal Rebel team. <laughs> completely unspectacular chaos team. Slow. Dark day for Team Fantastic. Dark day indeed. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah, the old block Dauntless will get him. Boy, howdy, here comes the rats. Boy, howdy. Fucking rats. 
folk boys are surely toughness for coffee. Surely, yeah, it was machine, yeah. Everybody he's killed everyone. <laughs> I killed three. <laughs> three legends or superstars got killed. It was so fucking brutal, wasn't it? It was just mm. so brutal. Well, you did it as a question, Coffee. <laughs> and the sage being all coy, you know, and oh, oh, look at that. Oh, I've killed another one. Oh, how did that happen? Ooh. You know, shut up, sage, you prick. <laughs> That's wild, isn't it? Toughness five. That's crazy. Orcs are, orcs are a funny team, right? Because when I when I played when I played that game, Warhammer forty thousand, they always looked good on on paper, right? You'd always make like an orc army. And there's like hundred and fifty orcs in it, and you think, wow, oh, this is gonna, you know, this seems really good. Like, how can people deal with this amount of numbers of like all the, you know, and like you think. Look at the maths. This looks this looks pretty good on paper, and then you play them, and they just all get slaughtered. <laughs> they all get minced. <laughs> yeah, this is shit. Running forward is, is and getting shot is not a winning strategy. <laughs> this no, is quite wasn't good, it? Isn't it? Four, four, wasn't four, a four. winning strategy when I was playing uh, Nids. Uh, yeah, I had a, I've got a very proud um, a 100% losing record with 40k. Nice. Uh, one which I guard jealously. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's pretty easy, isn't it? He, as long as he powers this guy, then he he can get he can get four players for a cage, and like all it's really doing is isolating, isolating a, a fleshy. Gets the gets the big knockdown. And yeah, this, this should be easy to get into a cage over here. Cage, you know. Nothing to it really. Well, unfortunately, um, Nauru's left a uh, gaping hole. <laughs> <laughs> did he? <laughs> he did, yeah. And, you know, to be fair, he couldn't not. But maybe maybe the gaping hole should have been over this side. Like, leaving it over here where he's got these two, and these two can reach. Like, the fleshy couldn't reach the other side, could he? Like, he's, he's got this white that can reach over this side. Yeah. Um, but this flesh he couldn't have reached, so he probably should have left the gaping hole over this side um, to leave this guy stranded. I mean, it's not easy anyway, is it? Don't want to be harsh on Nuru here. It wasn't easy to. Uh... No, he's, he's, he was in big trouble anyway. So I, I didn't hate the turn he played. Um, you know, I would imagine he's actually kicking himself for leaving that hole. Um, Right, here we go. So now all you've got to do is fireball these five and hope for a really lucky fireball. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, that's the storm, I bet he is. <laughs> Yeah, pie play mids. Yeah. I don't know. The pie play tower. They've got them and these other things. All the smart missiles and everything, haven't they? They just they just beat they just beat orcs by default. Pretty much everything does. Everything just beats orcs because everything's got you know it's got to have some anti infantry or like even anti light tanks. Still work. So now this makes like auto cannons even better, doesn't it? Because you, you can use them to shoot fucking <laughs> use them to shoot orcs. Toughness I never saw winning. I never saw winning as Tyranids a priority. You know, the whole narrative that they just keep coming, you know, um, was enough for me. And obviously, if you manage to tear one of the, one of your opponent's commanders to shreds, you know, with a Khan effects or you know your Hive Tyrant, then it, it was just a great story. But yeah, I very rarely won. I, 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 yeah, so winning, winning was secondary, to be honest. When I was playing 40k, yeah. Tower shit. They didn't used to be machine. I don't know what they are now. They used to be one of the best armies when I had played. Was it sixth edition? I think. Or Seems like a lot of effort now, though, doesn't it? Seems like a lot of effort getting all your figures out, painting them up, and you know, and then reading through reams of rules when you can just turn on your PC. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, like fucking the storage as well, man. It just takes so much storage, doesn't it? I tell you what, yeah. I didn't like about about this. I don't know where, where did he. I oh, moved the ghoul over here. I didn't like that at all. I would have moved in the uh, the this white. I would have moved in there so we could have punched with his with his zombie. Yeah. Yeah, old fee with Eldar. Yeah, Eldar and Tower. Good one, I played. Yeah. Blood Bowl's a lot better, especially if you like if you only want to play tournaments or whatever, because you just need like eleven elves. <laughs> like or like twelve or thirteen undead. And then you're set, aren't you, for like pretty much everything. Like one little carry case. And and you and you're good, but fucking when when like you've got options and stuff as for forty K and that, you know, like no no one just makes a fifteen hundred army to it. You know, they end up with like 4,000 points of stuff so they can like do different things and what have you. And it just takes so much space and like all the fucking carrying case and so much time and effort. It's just fucking bollocks. Right, this is this could be tricky. This this uh, He's got three players over here, which isn't good, is it? This, this, this fleshy was always going to get isolated. So he had yeah. to plan for him getting isolated and I didn't like him joining the ghoul there. This is, this could be somewhat tricky here. And this is a little bit of his own making, isn't it? You know, as well. Um, didn't really have to go from one side to the other. Uh, he could have. I think he could have stayed a little bit more central, couldn't he? But I mean, yeah, he could have been still a little bit more central. Yeah, yeah. Cause, but he had like the double guys here, didn't he? So yeah, he could have only been but one more. But I just think I just didn't like this ghoul going over there. That was what I didn't like. He could just go for the dodge surf, couldn't he? He might be tempted to go for the dodge surf here, because this is this is the fucking guy you want. I guess you don't need rid of him now, though. Anyway, because you already won the ups and all. Okay, he's not. He won't be tempted to do that because it's fucking stupid. Like I know it's fucking stupid. I know it's a stupid thing to do, but I thought he might have been tempted to do a stupid thing. But like, no, he's not. I think above all else, he needs to not panic here. He's still got the ball in the hands of a strength four blood step. Cool, you know. Um, so. Yeah, he just has to protect the ball. He's one of them. Yeah. Just yeah. protect the ball, play safe. Just do everything. Everything just chip is stupidly. Chip good. away. Yeah. Chip away. Keep hitting the rats. Their armor will break. Their numbers will diminish as it, they just have. Yeah. Yeah, you can in fact you can just three dice him, can't he? He hasn't got wrestle, so he's not even hard to hit, you can just three D. Yeah. Yeah, Fugonomic. That, that, that's the problem, like, people not knowing the rules was always something that happened. <laughs> and so I got, like, kind of a bad reputation for arguing with people, but it was everyone else's fault for not knowing the rules. <laughs> you should have played me. If you said, oh, actually, I killed that piece, I'm like, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's this. This is he's gonna get an uphill here, isn't he? He's gonna get an uphill sacking opportunity. He's definitely gonna get at least an uphill opportunity. Here. Yeah, he does go for that dodge, Madden. Yeah. <laughs> and he does get him off. But again, unlikely to be that irrelevant player, isn't he? Like he's unlikely to be that relevant. That's the thing now, because he needs to sack the ball. That's that's the thing. Had his one turn touchdown goggles on there, didn't he? He did, he did, <laughs> and I think he should have realised now is not the time to have those goggles on. Oh, yeah, it's, he's still a gutter, like it's still good, but it's just not that good, is it? Right, you've got to put a guard in here, haven't you? And then, and then go for. Yeah, do that one day and then run all the way around this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just go through the dodge, right? Just to try and pop his diamond tackle. <laughs> well, you can four plus it anyway. I don't know. I don't know what you do, but you you got to hit the ball. Hope for the best. Yeah.
I mean, this isn't helping. That's... I guess it stops it being a triple up hill if you fail the Dauntless. He's got him? No, he hasn't. He hasn't got Wrestle, dickhead. <laughs> Imagine not having Wrestle on this guy. Fucking hell. Oh my god. <laughs> <gasps> ah. You know Nuru is going, why did I give him wrestle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he should be saying that. Oh, I'd be game on right now as well, wouldn't it? Mm. Holy cow. Yeah, it would have been game on, yeah. I mean, it could have just scattered out, couldn't it? Straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> Skull out when the turn. Woo! <laughs> he is fact. You can he even spend... He, he hasn't had great dice, has he? No, he hasn't he had great dice. No, no. Oh, this is this is just. You can surf another go. You can surf the H five now. I think you just surf him because it's so easy to deal with these guys. Like he's three dicing him, three dicing him, and then three dicing him, and then just yeah. just no threat anymore, is there? Re remove remove another gutter here. Yeah. It's done, isn't it? It's done. Yeah. Yes. Not, not, no knockdown there, though. Ne vaudrait-il pas mieux esquiver que chercher à bloquer Ah non, Jim. Frapper d'abord, courir ensuite. Ça a toujours été ma devise. He wants no knockdown now. <laughs> yeah. It's just whether he commits to the uh, the assist or not, isn't it? That's the thing. I think he can afford the wrestle there, uh, the guard assisting. And then he can push there, can't he? Get this guy, you know, somewhere and then blitz with a wolf, even though he doesn't have to. Yeah. Just... Well, you, yeah, you, you, blitzing with the wolf is safe because then you're not leaving the wolf stranded on the sideline either, are you? Yeah. Yeah, I think you've got to blitz with, yeah. Yeah, you don't need to blitz with the wolf, but I think you definitely should blitz with the wolf. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, move this guy first. Gets the pow. Instant pow! Rerolls it, wow, rerolls it, going for the surf. Gets him. Yeah, I'm eating control anyway, so I don't hate that. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. Try, yeah, uh, just just try to power freshy first, or like, or have do dodge through the uh, dodge through the diamond tackle to save your square, so you could have uh, gone around the cage or whatever, or just hit with the wrestler or something. I don't know, just not doing what you've done. I mean, you should have. I mean, to be fair, try you would have also taken wrestle on your sacking player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you wouldn't have burnt your wizard in a pointless exercise. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, there is that. <laughs> oh, hello, hey, no, no, one's, no one's punishing Nauru more than himself right now. I, I would imagine he is... Uh, he'll probably look back on that and not be particularly happy about it. No. Or he might be like Space Cadet and say, I played that fucking perfect, don't you want about <laughs> Obviously, the way to win is by not scoring touchdowns. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love space. I love. Do you know what? His stream's so entertaining. It really is because it's ninety ninety eight percent bollocks. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> That's being generous. Fuck you know. He gets so angry as well, doesn't he? He gets so angry, and it's. You know, it's like it's like my toddler getting angry when you can't have a chocolate biscuit. It's just hilarious. Yeah, exactly. It's confident. Yeah, the, the absolute righteous indignation he has about everything. It's brilliant. <laughs> He's so wrong every time. 
<laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> absolutely love it. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love a space cadet stream. <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like playing him so much. <laughs> before Timmy, before Timmy gets his gets his customary fuck yeah. off from me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> fuck off, Timmy. <laughs> you and Dimmy have got the same thing going on that me and Screw have got going on. Yeah, it? it's, it's very funny. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Last reroll done, yeah. That was that was why I didn't like that that reroll so much, right? Because now if there's a critical fail, and this wasn't a critical fail, he could have played this safer. And like I know a lot of people wouldn't play it safer. He should have had though. He should have had those skulls, shouldn't he? Yeah, it he had no bearing on the, on on the outcome of this game. So yeah, yeah, he should have definitely like played this all as safe. Look, like, with one reroll, he should have played this all as safe as possible, so that. If the if there was a critical block, it was done first, and the reroll could be used, but not just a random block. Uh, why has he moved the fleshy there? Why wouldn't you create a full cage? I don't know. He's gonna move the cage. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, he needed a power, right? I don't, I don't, I don't, okay, he's not following. I, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know what the plan is. Let's let's be fair. He's pretty safe still, right? He's in a good spot. He's giving but... the uphill. He's giving the uphill. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I I I, I would have I would have full caged there, so he could have moved the white across the square. Um, you know, put that ghoul in the center of a full cage. I don't like um, giving the uphill. This has got to be wrong, hasn't it? This is way too easy. Like, okay, he hasn't got wrestle, but. He can just do this. Yeah. It's an uphill, it's no 1D. Oh yeah, it's a 1D! He's got guard, but now he's got no recovery. So yeah, okay, no, I don't, I don't like that. I don't, so, he's, so, he's going, so he's going in with a dauntless gutter runner? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, guess, I guess you've got to. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you've, you've got to make it a 1D. Oh. Yeah, gets him. That was fucking terrible, wasn't it? He used a reroll. He used a reroll because the ball wasn't safe, presumably, and then didn't get it safe. I feel like we have to take a bit of responsibility because we were talking about Space Cadet, and that was Space Cadet level ball protection right there, wasn't it? So maybe yeah. you know, maybe we rubbed off him a little bit. That, but that was horrible. It really Absolutely was. horrible. Genuinely, if you're using a reroll here on this irrelevant block, and then. You're not going to tidy up around the ball, then you shouldn't have re-rolled that at all, should you? Now, zero re-rolls, turn 14, raining, all on the floor, and you've got no anti up. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that stun was huge, wasn't it? If, if that hadn't been a stun, then okay, it could have yeah. been very easy for him, but now... Um... He's no reroll. He could he could just dub skull anyway. First action, right? He's got to he's got to do first. He's got to do safe moves first a bit as well. Yeah. So Diomed's really trying to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory here. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've all been there, haven't we? You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To be fair, there's no need to be harsh or anything. Um, it is easy, easily done as well, isn't it? Like when you're dominating a game, like he has dominated this right from the opening kickoff. It's been horrifically yeah. one-sided. And I guess he just zoned out or whatever, and all of a sudden... That is so easy to do, isn't it? When you're in such control of a game, um, you, whether, whether you're overconfident or whether you're, yeah, as you just said, zone out, um, it's really easy to make a stupid mistake. And then suddenly you're, you, you're looking there thinking, how has my opponent just done that? <laughs> yeah. You know? So, yeah, again, we're just calling it as we see it. You know, we, we know Diomed's a really good player, um, but... This is what makes this exciting, isn't it? You know? I quite like the jump up so that you can, uh, so you can push the fleshy out and then block him and then get the fleshy hit on him and then you can go for the pick up with the, uh, with the ghoul. That would be a blitz, wouldn't it? He's not jump up. It's the other one that's jump oh, up. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's not jump up. He's got fucking dying tackle. Oh, God, right. Yeah. I don't like that, then. 
So I, f I think you've this you... guy for the chain, and then hope that you are powering. Yeah, it's an idea, isn't it? Yeah, Trip, you could well be right. Um, the fact that he didn't cage up there, um, again, looking at it, it's, Blood Bowl is the easiest game in the world where you're looking at other people playing it, um, you know, insofar as what you should do tactically and then what's the optimal choices. Um, when you're actually playing the game yourself, especially in a chalice, it's in, we all know it's entirely different. So. Yeah, I, I watch my own games and like, oh, I wouldn't have done that, but <laughs> I had done it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> like that, you know, some games, I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? Like, I don't even understand what oh, I'm thinking. There you go, wow. he could double skull and he did. Oh, Boy, wow. Woo -hoo -hoo. Flip me, guys. Huge. Absolutely huge. Tons of chances. There, there is, though. There is chances, isn't there? Not, not, you know, it's not good. It's not good for them. But uh, there's something. They, they've got something when they should have nothing. That's the, that's the thing, isn't it? Oh yeah, on you know, if if you replayed this ten times, nine times out of ten, you you've got this locked right down by now, ain't you? You know, if it was all all the same exact same parameters and stuff, but yeah, this is. Uh... Oh, and he's yeah, he's not jump up, so he can just literally outdistance the uh, the wolf, can't he? Yeah. Boy, howdy. GFI over here. Say Chiefs first. And he can just he can completely outdistance him. Okay, I'll go over there. Yeah, I think he should have just stood the wolf, yeah. Yeah, now that I know he's not... Oh, jumping. wow. <laughs> He's got a GFI, hasn't he? He can't just get punched. No, but then he wants the reroll. Oh, God, he dodges. Disgusting. Um, no, there's a guard assist. Oh, no, 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 he's not a guard assist. Sorry, the um, the guard is actually on the white. So... Yeah. I guess, I guess by, by taking the blitz there, then at least someone else isn't getting blitzed. Like, it's not that terrible, is it? But still... Yeah, I think the GF, the GFI would have been. I, I I certainly would have GFI'd there, and maybe yeah. maybe the likes of me and you should never GFI again, Jim. You <laughs> yeah, know, but... maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I think I think because look, thirty percent of the time he powers you, but then what does he do after he powers you? Well, maybe he picks up the ball and you're fucked. Yeah. Um. So like. I think, but you know, you only fall over sixteen percent. Even if you don't re-roll it, you're better off GFIing than letting him hit you. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is insane. The, uh, how you know, if you'd said two turns ago that the Skaven would have ball in hand and looking to equalise, yeah, would have been like behave yourself. I do not like the gutter not in scoring range. I would have GFI'd him and had him on the sideline here, and yeah. then he's yeah. he's untouchable. But by the wolf, the wolf couldn't have got diamond tackle on him. And then I don't know if he could have surfed him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. No, he couldn't have surfed him. So you just untouchable by the wolf. He could have got pinned by the strength four. But uh, I would have definitely had the the other the other gutter here, hundred percent. No, there you go. So he, he couldn't have been touched by he couldn't have been touched by anything. Yep. Yeah, so he'd have been totally invincible on a GFI. I think he had to do that. Yeah. I think he absolutely had to because now he's now he's locked down ish by the wolf, isn't he? And your ball's getting hit, yeah. and you're thirty percent. You lose the ball. And whatever happens, you're gonna have to like you're gonna be stuck this way as well, aren't you? Yeah. So he's getting stuck this way, which sucks. I guess it does get to push the wolf to here and then maybe just help distance him still. But he's got his he's got this strength for to punch him. And I'll wrestle the punch him. 
Why doesn't push him there? That's insane. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's not gonna blitz this fucker. Oh, he might actually, because he's got Glart there. But he's not, is he? He's not gonna blitz the fucking fleshy down the side. He's gonna move over this way. I'm maybe run out of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that before. You just gotta blitz him, haven't you? No. Okay, he's gonna blitz him himself because he's got tackle. He's <laughs> got a reroll. Doesn't. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Why wasn't he over here? <laughs> he should have been here last turn. I told you. Oh god, well now what do you do? Just potato. Is Roll a fuck ton of dice. <laughs> He's potato. Oh, look at this. This is gonna fucking potato. <laughs> Fuck it, but I'm impressed. <laughs> oh my god. Outrageous. Outrageous. Oh. Well, I don't see what this GFI does. Oh, maybe the wolf. Yeah, okay, the wolf. Do you just wrestle him? Do you just two D wrestle him? I think so. You can you can you can beat him off to make it a three D. Can you manufacture a three D here? You can three D um, with block, I don't think you can three D with wrestle though. Yeah, so you, you two D you wrestle. Seem uh there's probably not a lot between the two, is there? No. I'm sick as eggs, the rat's got the ball because um the necro's just Decided to, I don't know, turn the brain off or something. <laughs> you know, who needs the cage? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the 2D, the 2D means that you've got the the strength for shoe hands for recovery, doesn't it? So that that's got a lot going for it. Yeah. On the other hand, the wrestle is nowhere near as good as a pow. So if you if you just blitz him with three dice and you get the pow. That's better than popping it with wrestle, and you've still got him to do the recovery anyway. That must be the only reason why um, Nauru GFI'd there to make sure. So if he's subject to wrestle, his gutter runner is still in scoring range, even with a no. Yes, yeah. Substandard good. with a substandard scatter. No. So. Oh yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no. <laughs> it wasn't required. Still, don't get me wrong. I still hate it. I, I still hate it. But but gets the battle. Gets the pal. I think it was. I think it was the wolf. I think that's what he was thinking. Just the wolf uh, double GFI. Yep. No, great. There's still a chance. But I think his big mistake was not running running the sideline the previous turn. He moved him here and did nothing. Yeah. If you put him the sideline there. Yeah, Nauru had the opportunity, didn't he? Um, it, it looked exceptionally unlikely, but he had the opportunity. Yeah, especially especially try as your win condition is going to overtime and then winning, isn't it? So, so okay, maybe the GFI gives you the highest odds of getting the score this turn, but you still want to win the game. And having a reroll for overtime is really good, isn't it? His big mistake was building the gutter. Yeah, that's true. That's true, yeah. <laughs> His biggest mistake was not taking fucking wrestle. <laughs> you even go for the ball pick up here? Yes, you have to. You have to, because even if you stand there, you can just dodge and pick it up. Like, it can just work, can't it, man? The fucking scaven. Yeah. You pick it up, he's got a power. Like, okay, if you if you fail the pickup, 25%, and then it could be a bad scatter. But a lot of the times, the scatter is just like what would happen if you didn't pick it up anywhere. Sure. Oh. 
and stay put or run across over to the flesh golem. Maybe just stay put so that you can sidestep in between the two of them if you get drowned. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know who's going to power you or how. <laughs> oh, I don't know how on earth you're going to get powered. Oh, yeah, see, I, I kind of preferred to uh, to sidestep there, but this way you're in an eye cage, isn't it? Which is good. But I don't see anyone who's going to even power him or anything. Uh, it's going to be a 2D up. It's going to be, at best, 2D uphill. Okay, well, that's how he's going to do it. He's just going to power him and then uh, come in with a shitty... Uh, the shit gutter. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, then the, the IK looks pretty good now, doesn't it? Fails. There you go. Well, 3D, yeah, if he fails Dauntless, yeah. It's cool. But he, he could have made Dauntless, couldn't he? It would have been a 2D uphill. He nearly got there. He, he got the he got the wrestle. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't have wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> How not to build a gutter. Yep. Yeah, like, I, I don't like that. Like, if you go block first, then, like, you're taking sidestep into your hands and stuff, aren't you? Like, it just seems... Seems crazy to, like, just not go wrestle first, if you want to say. Yeah. Go out with a foul. Got respect for that. Yeah, gotta love it. Gotta love a cheeky foul at the end. But uh, there you go. Well done, Diomed. Uh, congratulations to him. Commiserations to Nuru. Thank you very, very much, Calcium, for joining us in the booth. Absolutely glorious. Anytime, Jim. Anytime. Oh yeah. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.